All right, we wanna share our build. It's build number two that has something to do with art and it combines what we know from like the mechanical engineering piece and the electrical engineering piece to, to this art piece. So come follow me and we'll show you what we were working on. We picked the classic Scooby-Doo art, right? And so you can take a look right here is our art piece on the wall. It's beautiful, it's, it is drawn by a combination of artists, Kelly, who's eight years old, Calvin, who's five years old, and Reagan, who is two years old. And they created, you know, this is a limited edition piece of art right here. I mean, you can just, you can see the brush strokes. Like this is, this is like, they don't make copies of this, right? This is limited. <laughs> and it just totally blends in with the decor of the whole house. I mean, it totally matches and it looks just perfect. Right, but just like on the show Scooby-Doo, right, the, what you think is a normal piece of art, maybe it's like a classic piece, but they've cut out the eyes and the bad guy is behind the photo. So when Scooby-Doo and the gang walk in front of it, the eyes kind of shift, right, and he watches them. And so we created that here. And underneath, uh, it's a little difficult to see, but if you come over here, you can get a good angle. There is a frame, a wooden frame that we built, and we house like the Arduino board and it this can can sorry connected to a servo motor come back out here servo motor that looks and controls these two eyes where they're looking and pointing and so these are just ping pong balls on a swivel with a paper clip that kind of ties them together and it ties it to that servo motor so that when it goes it's just it these eyes look right and then what causes it to trip is these wires which would totally be hidden if we were to go back and do this again and permanently install it somewhere. But it goes under this mat and there's a pressure sensor right there so that someone, when they get to this spot, like they've gone to the bathroom, right? There's a toilet in there and they're gonna come wash their hands. They come and they stand right here and uh, the pressure sensor senses their weight and it causes the eyes to shift. You wanna see what it looks like? Wow, there's a bad guy watching me. And then they stop. So someone would come to this point and they'd be like washing their hands. And then they kind of look up in the mirror and they're like, whoa, th those eyes are moving. And when they turn around, the pressure is off the switch so the eyes stop. And they're like, man, I swore, I swore I saw those eyes moving. That's weird. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Whatever. So then they go wash, wash their hands again. And sure enough, oh, those eyes are moving. No, I swore they were moving. Man, I'm going crazy. <laughs> and then it just turns into be a funny practical joke. So um, if we were to do this again, we could, instead of a pressure switch, change it to a motion sensor with a time delay. We could play around with the motor so that the motor actually is silent because it's kind of noisy. So the person can hear the motor going off. Um, and then, you know, I don't think we can make any improvements on the art. That's like a classic piece of art. So it needs to just stay just like that. Anyway, thanks for joining us on our build. It was fun.